Back to sleep. Okay. I'm not going under. I need more sleep. Oh my gosh. Why is it going off again? No. <laughs> no chance of sleeping in the house. I'm so tired. Oh. It's like quarter past 11, so the morning is going really quickly. And to be honest with you, I haven't really done that much. And I feel like I still have toothpaste around my mouth. But yeah, so it's just been a slow morning. I'm back home now from university after a very intense eight or nine weeks. I'm very happy to be back home because I do not come home at all normally during term time just because it is so busy and there is no time to come home. It's Christmas as well so the Christmas holidays is like the best because it's so festive and I love it except from the cold weather. I wanted to just talk about how tiring university actually is. When you are actually there it feels like you are, well for me anyway, because I am so busy i literally fill my days i cram them full with stuff so i work i do youtube i dance i run if i'm not injured i do my work i go to all my lectures go to supervisions have my labs i sleep i make my food i wash i do so much stuff and when i say this to myself i'm literally like i don't know how i managed to fit it all in but i do i'm pleased that i managed to fit it all in and Stay on top of my work and get everything done but at the time i do not realize how exhausting it actually is because when i'm there because i have so much stuff to do and i'm always like bam 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 go 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 it's non-stop i don't have time to really sit and think and allow myself to feel tired so i run off about uh seven or eight hours sleep which isn't well it's okay it's adequate so I normally like, I aim to try and go to bed at half 10, but it normally isn't half 10, it's normally close to 11. Sometimes it is midnight because I'm out dancing very late sometimes. And then I wake up normally around half six, seven. So yeah, that is about seven hours sleep or eight hours sleep. It's normally seven hours. It's a decent amount of sleep. In comparison to some people at university, I don't, I don't even know, wanna know how much sleep they run off. But for me to perform at my best, I do need to have a minimum of seven hours sleep. Otherwise I will get 
really run down. I don't tend to get ill. My immune system is pretty strong. I'm proud of that. But yeah, when I'm there and I'm so busy, I don't feel tired normally because I just have stuff to get on with and do. I say to myself, when I come back home, I'll still get up at like 6.37 in the morning, I'll go to bed early, I'll stick with this routine, it'll be all fine, but no, no, <laughs> no chance. I don't know what happens, but suddenly I feel so tired. Like these past few days, just being back home and just not being at university, I have felt so tired. Just getting up in the mornings is the hardest thing. I don't know what it is, but it literally feels like there's a brick on me and I literally cannot get up. Like gravity is increasing on me. <laughs> I just can't get up. I cannot physically get out of bed. And I know it's like, it's just, um, you need to just get over it mentally, just force yourself to get up. I don't understand, but I think it's definitely when things slow down, your body catches up with itself and it's like, wow, I'm super tired. So I need to embrace that. Yes, I'm not gonna deprive myself of sleep and try and force myself to get up. I will sleep in, catch up on sleep and let my body recover from a very intense, intense term. At university, I think it's because I know that I have stuff to do. I know that I have to be in different places. I can't afford to sleep in, otherwise I will be late or I'll miss things. It's happened a few times in first year, not second year, we're getting better. But normally I just like leap out of bed and it's so, it seems so easy when I'm there and it's just like, wow, I'm so awake. Like I went to bed at midnight, but I'm up at seven. How is this happening? And yeah, it's just a whole different story. But bottom line, university is very, very tiring, especially when you do a lot of stuff. Because working, your brain is using so much energy and then you're doing everything else on top of that. And, Oh, they're just a busy eight weeks and then your body just really does need to catch up with itself yeah if you're at university and you can relate to this because i'm sure this happens to everyone the sun is kind of like on my face school was kind of a bit different because you had like your parents make you food you're not at that age when you can do all that stuff for yourself whereas when you're at university it's a whole different story it's like on a new level not only does the work get harder but you have to like look after yourself and you have to like take on adult responsibilities and I'm just not ready for that. I just wanted to talk a bit about that because there's no point trying to be like, oh my gosh, I'm still like so not tired. I'm still super, super busy in the holidays because realities are, I'm not. Things slow down and you need to have those down times because otherwise you will burn out. But yeah, it's just good to have a time when you can sleep in and let your body rest advice people um like this video if you want to see a time management video which i said that i would do and i'm still gonna work on for you guys please comment down below any of your other video ideas because i want to help you guys and if i inspire you in any way that's amazing and it makes me feel so good whether that's inspires you inspiring you to aspire to go to a top university or I've inspired you to try the vegan diet or I've inspired you just to start dancing or taking up a hobby alongside your work whatever that is I will be so happy that I've helped you guys so I am really 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 gonna work on content for you guys I'm also gonna be trying to put up regular videos so yeah thank you for watching this video guys I hope you enjoyed it bye oh my gosh 25.99 one pound thirty. Get them all. Should we get them all? Oh, okay. Okay. Let's get yes. a OMG. Number four. Oh my gosh. Look. Thanks, Mom. This is so cool. Wasn't I expecting this fan, Ben? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's an actual tree. So cool. Did you know what batteries in? This was supposed to be number one. I can't um, decorate my room and make it look Christmassy. Well, that's what that's <laughs> Dude, you've got like an underwater bedding there. <laughs> what are you doing? You have to just open, open it out. Make it look like, does it look yeah. like a tree? Look out. <laughs> look make it look oh, like I would have right. literally put yeah. it out like this. No. Well, I would have only done it if it said on the instructions. But I think mine looks cute. Yeah. Ta-da! <laughs> you just want the twigs. None of the twigs will grow quite.
Well, they're not going to grow Here, they're just three all together, so it's a fake tree. Ooh, I feel like I'm putting it on my desk, maybe, like, doing like that. Oh, it's going to create some really scary shadow. <laughs> oh, that looks really nice. Why can't mine look nice? That looks cute. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. So, she's already found my tree. Milka. Hey. Yeah, I know. <laughs> she's so cute sometimes, but she's also such a madam. Uh, okay, you miss being able to come in my room. Oh, okay. Okay, we'll just sit here then, yeah? No, no, no. <gasps> hey! Milka! Milka, Milka, hey, not the pine cone, not the pine cone.